All right, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I hope you're doing fine. Today we're gonna have a maybe a little bit of a boring video because I'm just gonna discuss one question: Should Han Shodan have a roaming boss? This is a question that I get now almost on a daily basis, and it's a legit question. It's an interesting question. So in this video, I'm only gonna show you a little bit of you know uh, static gameplay in the background, but it's more about this question right here, and we're gonna discuss that at the end. You will get my opinion regarding that if you care about that. Um, before we start to discuss the pros and cons of a roaming boss, we should take a look at Han Showdown, I think roughly two years ago. Uh, because back in the days there was no boss whisper mechanic. You know, boss whisper mechanic, when you're around the boss lair or at the boss and you hit dark side and it's glowing white, you know nobody's around and if it's glowing red, you know there's people. Um, in my opinion, that is an anti-camp mechanic. Some people said, um, especially when the feature got released, lots of people said, oh, it's making camping actually easier. And I disagree with that. Um, back in the days, long time ago, people kind of stopped going for the bosses because it was actually pretty dangerous. You go for a boss, you start to fight, people hear that, obviously. You could hear when the boss starts enraging. And, um, well, they're waiting for that signal and then they push in with their shotguns and they blast your ass and you go back to the lobby. And you're like, I'm actually the idiot for fighting the boss because plenty of times people attack me exactly when I start the boss fight or they wait a couple seconds. Now, of course, there is counterplay for that. Uh, you could check every corner, you could check every building around the boss lair, um, you could start the boss fight and then immediately leave the boss and see if people are coming. But it kind of slowed down the whole flow of the match. And I know that there's people who do not like the boss whisper mechanic. And there's definitely pros and cons, like there's a few things that I don't like too regarding this. But at the end of the day, I'm happy that they implemented that once the whole feature was a little bit more fleshed out. And I think most of the people actually started to accept this feature. Like, not a lot of people are questioning this anymore and saying, hey, this is a bad feature. They, they still exist, don't get me wrong. But, um, yeah. Afterwards, more people actually started to go for boss fights again, speeding up the whole process of the match. I'm not gonna touch this uh, camper topic anymore. Um, maybe in a different opinion video, we will see. And um, that's about the past, now let's jump back to the present. Let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons. Well, pro would be new content, because if we're gonna be completely honest, new content in Hunt is a little bit... Uh, it's not really happening that much. Um, and no, a DLC is, in my opinion, no content. It's uh, just a skin. And a skin is no content, don't get me wrong. Like, I absolutely respect the Hunt team, what they created with Hunt Shodan. It's an amazing game. But regarding content... Yeah, it's a bit slow right now. But what you're gonna do? So, that's probably one of the reasons why a lot of people are asking for a roaming boss. So, Pro would be absolutely new content. Something that we didn't see before. So, that would be nice. Um, it would open up more playstyles and more objectives on the map, which are weird kind of lacking right now uh, but that's kind of it in my opinion because well this boss will most likely not have the boss whisper mechanic kind of doesn't make sense right maybe they would do it i don't know i don't think they would do that and after a while i guarantee you people would basically track that roaming boss wait for other people to engage and then shoot the people who engage the boss now, lots of people are saying, well, then just don't make the boss so tanky. Yeah, but if it's not a boss, then again, you have like an elite then or a mini boss. Then you're getting pretty close to, you know, a meathead. I don't know how exciting that is, if it's that weak. If it's like, like a butcher with a massive HP pool, I think you, you might be in danger there. The amount of ideas you guys have regarding boss designs like a werewolf or a gator or something there, there's plenty out there you know and most of them i think are actually pretty cool however in theory stuff sounds always amazing but when you put it to the test then and put it into you know a, a live server environment lots of ideas start to crumble a little bit because people you know 
How about the roaming boss appears later in the game? Or the roaming boss is hunting you? That was one of the suggestions that we had in the chat. Well, at first glance it sounds kind of cool because, well, you can't track something that tracks you or shows up later. But what happens <laughs> when there's like an epic 2v2 or 3v3 and you're the last man standing and you're about to clutch it? And then the roaming boss shows up and uh, interrupts your push and, you know, gives the other team an advantage. That all already happens from time to time that the AI is fucking you over in a gunfight. Like, I would say a mini boss or a roaming boss, well, that would be even, you know, worse. So you have to be really careful with this. Now, I'm not against this. This is now basically a little bit the conclusion chapter here. I'm not against the roaming boss. However, on the priority scale, I think a roaming boss is just super low. There's so much that they have to repair or implement or improve first before they bring something like a roaming boss. There's a prestige system that is absolutely outdated. And again, I love the game. It's still my main game and I'm not going to quit it. But the amount of bugs right now is something else and there's a lot old ones new ones but hey uh, i will most likely do a feedback video i already did one back in the days um and i'm planning on doing one in a week or two once the event is over because well there's a lot we have to discuss now so roaming boss i would say the idea you really have to flash that out Right now, I'm against it. I'm gonna be honest here. I think it's just on a priority scale too low. And I think people, they fantasize a little bit regarding this, how epic that would be and how cool that would be. But if you implement it just by having a roaming boss, that's it. I think that that feature would fail really fast. So let me know in the comment section what you think about a roaming boss and how you would make a roaming boss appealing, balanced, because I think this is really difficult. I'm gonna read through them. And uh, the moment I read it, you always get like, you you know, the Psycho goes hard. It doesn't always mean that I agree with you, by the way. It just means it's basically for me. Oh yeah, I read that comic. That comic? That comic. So here you go. That's my two cents regarding uh, a roaming boss. Um, Maybe I do more of these videos because I get a lot of questions and I would like, I would love to have a video that is large, just like a couple of minutes answering them. Here we go. I don't want to stretch this video out any longer. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. There you go. I just wanted to put that out there. Lots of people were asking me this, so I wanted to address this topic really quick. People who need to be addressed in absolutely every video can be seen here, my patrons. Thank you for being amazing and for supporting me. Thank you for watching. If this video is doing okay, I might do more of these opinion videos. We will see. Putting your opinion on the internet is most of the time not a fun experience. i see you in the next one. Until then, have a good day and bye-bye.